Hello, George Leoniak here. Welcome back to New Spirituality. Today I am starting a new line of videos. This is going to be kind of more on some instructional material. And uh, I came up with this nifty little design, uh, easy way to draw 24 points along a circle. Um, so I'm going to just go over that quickly, kind of in the PowerPoint presentation. And uh, just to show you what that is going to look like when you're all done. You know, I'm hoping to inspire folks to, you know, try and do some of these drawings or if you feel called to. Um, it really opens up your uh, uh, understanding of sacred geometry and a lot of the things I'm talking about. I mean, this is kind of the way I got started with it. And then you start to make your own discoveries. So in this is uh, presentation is kind of a new way to draw uh, the 12 pointed star here that you see or the 24 points that are going around. So if you're new to doing these type of drawings, um, you know, simple things you'll need here is you'll need the compass and just a straight edge with some increments on it. We'll be doing some little bit of measuring today, but not much just to draw the base drawing. Uh, you know, a good mechanical pencil, and if you want a fine tip marker and, you know, an eraser. And by the end of this video, if you have those items at home, um, you know, you'll be able to do this, do something like this, and then you can erase different lines and highlight other lines you want with the marker. So let me jump into the uh, video. Hopefully this will be relatively short because I want it to primarily just be a quick video on instruction related to how to draw that. All right, so here we are. Um, you know, we're starting off with the blank page, and I'm going to go step by step through this, so there will be no kind of mystery of how this is done. I'm not going to be drawing it for you. I already have it kind of laid out. But the first thing you're going to do is just take your straight edge ruler and draw a two-inch line, a horizontal line. And at the end points of those of the line at the two-inch mark. You're going to place your compass and just set the radius to this edge here of this uh, soon to be circle and draw your first circle on there. And then on the other opposite edge of the line, go across and do the same thing. So you should have the two circles and that creates the Vesica Pisces shape. Um, and the next step after that. is we'll take our compass and set it to uh, one inch. So you're just gonna go to the uh, center line. Uh, let me hold on, I just got a, made one little thing. I wanna make sure you get this, move this over to here. In order to get that center line, you're gonna need to draw the line through the Vesica Pisces shape here. So, You'll go from the tip of the uh, kind of football shape here down to here and draw your line straight through and across the two inch line and across this line here, that's going to give you your center point dividing the line in half. So we'll draw our circle here. So that's how you find your center point. So that should be your two inch uh, diameter circle nested within these. And now we're going to just step it out one more phase here. And we're gonna draw over top of our two inch line. We are gonna extend that to the length of the edge of the four inch circle. So this is gonna be a six inch circle, this large one on the outside. And you're gonna set your compass to the inside of this and set the radius to three inches across. And then you're gonna draw the six inch. So the whole thing should be contained with uh, so far you've got the two inch circle, the four inch circle and the six inch circle. All right. So, you know, as you do this, this is, um, if you've got these equipment at home, these materials, um, pause the video and just follow right along. And it should be uh, pretty straightforward to follow these steps, I'm hoping. So next step is, 
uh, we have to, because we have four of the quadrants known, we want to get the other corners. So in order to do that, what you're going to do is off of that central circle you drew and these four corners, uh, four uh, cardinal directions of the line where they intersect the circle, you're going to place your same size circle. So this is the one inch radius, two inch diameter circle. You're going to draw four of these circles starting at the edge of the blue circle and you're going to draw all the way around. So you're going to have four of those all the way around. And you'll see it kind of creates this little uh, four leaf uh, petal, petals, four petals here. And you know, you could, if you wanted to at this point, encase that circle with a cube, but we're not going to bother with that for this video. But we do want these little node points at the tips of these little petals, because now we are going to draw in, draw in other lines, which are going to give you the eight directions. So you have the blue and the red lines, and these are going to be going through those tips. So you've got eight directions set up through the tips of the petals. And the reason we did that is because we need these new um these new lines because we have to also draw the eight uh four four more excuse me four more circles pretty much these same four circles you're just rotating it 45 degrees so another one here and you're going to start that circle this one right here you're going to start that circle right at the intersection of the blue circle that you see here so that circle, you're gonna draw one there, you're gonna draw the other one over here, and you'll draw the other one over here, and then you're gonna draw the other one over here. All right, so now, remember, this is a kind of a unique uh, novel way that I discovered to draw 24 even points. And the reason we did these eight circles in relationship to the center blue circle is that the next slide will show you at the intersection of the blue circle and where these larger petals are coming out, where those intersect, there's gonna be 24 equidistant intersection points along those segments. So once you get to this point, um, you know, now all you'll be doing is gonna be drawing the 24 or, or excuse me, the rest of the lines in here, uh, 18 more lines in here to get the rest of this. Uh, I'm not sure if it was 18 lines, but you know, you've got to do the full length line all the way along here. So we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So 12 full length lines to go all the way around. and you're going to be going right through those little intersection spots that I mentioned. And I can zoom in here just a little bit to show you what I mean. And let's go back to, we'll take one of the lines just to show you how it, before the black dots are on there, how it goes right through the nodal point right there and right here. So those are the segments that I'm talking about. And when you drew those lines uh, all the way through, you're gonna get the complete outer points along that six inch circle. So now that you've done that, zoom back out. Now you've done that, we could, um, you could erase the rest of the foundation lines in there if you want, and just be left with the 24 points along the outer circle. Um, but this is gonna allow you to do some uh, other shapes within this pretty easily. So you can draw the triangle shape, the kind of Star of David double point shape by just me meeting up the edges of the lines will give you these equilateral triangles. And if you wanted to get 12 points out of that, 
you're just going to connect the dots once again between the red lines and you get that and if you want to go all the way to 24 then you have that so you've got 24 rays coming out of this that are going to give you all the triangles necessary to do the 24 uh, points 24 pointed star in a very easy type of drawing easy way to do it now besides just the equilateral triangles in there you also have uh, a square that can be drawn between the segments and this will be the base foundation for the octagon shape so we could draw an octagon by just connecting these outer lines from the eight points and of course you could do that all the way around and have all the squares rotated around touching each corner touching the 24 points all the way around and that there is the whole drawing together with the inner dynamics um, that i had mentioned and you know, hopefully this is just a uh, quick, simple, easy guide to get you up and running, drawing uh, one of the root foundations, the Vesica Pisces, and then showing how you can just from that simply branch out to drawing the 24 points and get creative with your designs. You can color them in, erase different lines, do circles off the points, and just have fun with it. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. It's one of the new versions of uh, the uh, instructional videos that I'm going to be putting out. And, uh, you know, until next time, have a great day and uh, hope to see some of those drawings uh, and let me know how this went. All right. Take it easy, everyone. Bye.